Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and today is payday. So you know what that means. I'm gonna take you guys along with me while I budget and then fill my cash envelopes. So you guys know the drill by now. I'm going to just go ahead and get right into the budget. Um, this paycheck I made $1,126, which was $3 more than I usually get paid, but I guess this is my new usual, so I don't know. I'm not gonna complain, it's three extra dollars. So um, we will go off of that amount. Okay, so first things first is $178 for my car payment. Okay, hopefully now we'll get less of a shadow. I just turn on another light. No, nope, not really, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now you guys are all zoomed in. Oh, I'm just gonna bang the table. Um, and then my cell phone payment is 45. Adobe Suite is five. AMC A-list is 10. I forget Spotify. Oh my goodness, I did. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. I guess I'll just add it down here. Okay, so that bugs me, but whatever. <laughs> 55 for Disneyland. I'm gonna leave Debt Snowball and School Savings blank and then give Spotify Spotify, $5. Um, if you watched my video earlier this week about pausing my debt snowball, you will know that I probably will not be able to contribute anything to my debt snowball for this paycheck at least. But I spoke to my enrollment counselor at WGU. If you didn't watch that video, then go check that out. But long story short, I'm gonna be starting school at WGU and I want to just pay cash for it. So that is why I'm gonna have to stop my debt snowball for a little bit and pile up clap, pile up cash. But luckily I will be able to pay for it pretty quickly. I had some good news with uh, my tax return and I've been selling things on like Mercari on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm pretty close to having my first semester funded and then um, we'll be able to get right back into the debt snowball. So it'll just be a temporary pause. I did take a little bit from the debt snowball amount and put that towards school savings, but there's still some left. So I'll, I'll make a big payment this month, just not as big as my past couple months have been. But um, let's move into gas. I finally need to fill my gas tank. I have not put gas in my car since December 23rd, I think. Maybe it's 28th, I don't know, but it's been an absurd amount of time. I just, I don't leave the house very often, so that's why. Um, $60 for groceries, and then $40 for spending, $20 for clothing, $15 for toiletries, $5 for medical, $65 for car insurance, 30 for car maintenance, uh, 12 for TJ's birthday, 15 for gifts, 20 for Christmas, 15 for dog food, 20 for my brother's wedding, and then health insurance. Um, my parents let me know about two weeks ago that I need to start paying for my own health insurance. I did put $50 in that envelope last week out of the $150 that will be due every month. But my mom just let me know today that's due today. So I will probably have to put a large amount in here because when you're getting started splitting your bills, um, the first month is always the hardest. So not only do I have to fully fund the amount that's due today, but I also have to contribute half of next month's because the other half of next month's will just be coming from this paycheck. So that'll kind of be a bummer. February is going to be a rough month. <laughs> so I need $175 for health insurance. Ugh. I was trying to split that 150 into three paychecks because I was hoping they would be 
willing to let me start paying, you know, a full month after they told me I need to start paying for it, but that's not the case. So 175 it is. And since that will just be paid directly to my mom, it is going to be in cash. Ugh. That's a lot more than I usually take out. So that's upsetting, but that's okay. Um, plus 178. Oops. Okay, so sad news. <laughs> I just did the calculations. And after all of my necessities, it's 833. So that leaves zero dollars for debt snowball and nine or sorry, two ninety-three for school savings. So that's definitely a bummer. I'm used to putting close to five hundred dollars um toward my debt snowball, but this health insurance was unexpected um, and is a lot more than it's going to be usually. It's gonna be about that's about a hundred dollars more than it will be usually. Okay, so I'm only $249 away from my first semester at school being completely paid for. So once that's paid for, it will turn into just a sinking fund. I'll have seven months to pay for the next semester, which will be um, right around $480 per um, month and $240 per paycheck. So that'll cut my debt snowball about in half but at least I will be paying for school in cash and we'll see if I can make that even more um, just by continuing to sell things. And of course, um, if my YouTube income continues to be where it's at or at least where it was a couple months ago, um, YouTube is pretty unpredictable. So that's why I don't include it in any of like these necessities. I don't include that money because um, it's kind of one month you're making a certain amount and then the next month you make half that amount. So it's kind of just up in the air. I like to make that extra money that I can use towards my debt. So hopefully that will bring me up to a nice amount. But luckily um, I will be able to pay a pretty big chunk. I mean, it's about half of what I have been paying so it's kind of disheartening, but it's still a lot more than my regular payment. So let me just finish this calculation. I'll get that transfer started and then we will fill up my little mason jar. Okay, so 591 will be transferred over and I'm gonna get that started now. Okay, and then we will head over to the mason jar page. Okay, so even though it's gonna take a couple days for me to make my payment, I still know what the amount is gonna be. So. I'll go ahead and fill that in. And I'm just gonna use um, this marker for it. Okay, so $1,037. So, let's see. It'll be kind of small, but that's okay. I don't like seeing that. <laughs> Definitely discouraging and I'm just gonna fill it with like little dots because I like to do a different pattern for the months. Okay, so that's this month and I'm just not gonna stress out about it. I know March has three paychecks, so hopefully a bit extra will go towards my debt snowball. And maybe I'll make March a no spend month too. Um, I did complete my no spend for January and you guys, it was tough, but I made it and I'll make a separate video talking about that experience and, you know, kind of like what I've learned and everything. So um, I am going to just do my little breakdown of how much cash I need and then I'll head to the bank. Okay, so I need... 535 this time and I do need a hundred dollar bill so okay so gas groceries spending clothing toiletries medical car insurance car maintenance, TJ's birthday, 
gifts. Christmas, dog food, my brother's wedding, and health insurance. Okay, so let me make sure that I have everything. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be the right amount, but okay, that's because this is supposed to be a two. which leaves me three extra dollars, but I'm not gonna worry about it. That can sit in my account. Um, I'm not gonna add three extra dollars to that snowball, do another transfer, add three dollars to my other page. It's just not worth it for three dollars. So I'm gonna just change this to 532. And call it a day. <laughs> So that was the correct calculations for that amount. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the bank and then I will be back with the cash. Okay, so I'm back with the cash and I will get to um, stuffing my envelopes. So first things first, I'm gonna stuff the ones that are in my wallet. So gas will get 40. I am so low on gas, it's crazy. Groceries gets 60. Oh, how is that even possible? I do not know, but that's exciting. I waited until like a week after payday last paycheck to actually go grocery shopping and that like kind of helped. <laughs> I still have a bunch of groceries left over. So, I'm gonna try and eat out of what I have already for as long as possible. Clothing gets 20. Toiletries gets 15. And medical gets five. I need to go to the doctor soon. I wanna get some blood work done. And then I have like this bump like right here and it's painful like when I drive and stuff, it's really weird and it's not on this hand. So I'm like, hmm, I guess I should go to the doctor. <laughs> I don't really know what they're gonna be able to do, but I could use some blood work too. So, um, let's see, car insurance. All right, let's put these back in. Car insurance, 65. Car maintenance, 30. Hmm. I'm gonna try and condense these bills a little bit cause like, what the heck, one, two. So that's annoying. Okay, 
I'm gonna try that after I do the health insurance one. I will probably swap out a $100 bill. Okay, so we're at 324 for my car maintenance, but um, those bills are ridiculously large. Are those, there are a ton of them and they're small, so I'd, I'd rather swap them out for larger bills. TJ's birthday gets 12 again. That's another one that's gonna bug me with how many small bills there are. So I'll have to swap that out at some point. Gifts gets 15. I clearly have not marked this one in a while because this is from when, um, this is from Christmas. So I'll start keeping track again. Christmas gets 20. Brother's wedding gets 20. We're going dress shopping in April. So at that time, I'll definitely have enough to buy the bridesmaid dress. And then I'll have to try and see like what other obligations I have. <laughs> For that so I can see if I can stop contributing to that or I don't know if I have to keep doing it for a little bit longer so 175 for health insurance but 75 needs to stay in the envelope and 150 will um, go to my mom today to pay her so I'm gonna leave the 75 in here and I'm not even gonna put in the uh, 150 but I want to see if I can switch out the bills out of the um, car maintenance envelope. First I'm just going to put these $15 into the dog envelope. So that they don't get all mixed up. Okay, so I have here $150 in smaller bills. So I have 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, 100. And then I have 50. So I'm just gonna swap that out. This will go to my mom to pay for health insurance. And then this will go in the um, car maintenance envelope. So. Definitely less bills in here now. So I'm just gonna put a little um, clip on this so I remember to um, give it to my mom. It's not just like money laying around for nothing. I'll put that on my desk to take downstairs to her and then these will go back in my safe.
Okay, so that is it for my cash envelope stuffing video this week. I hope you guys liked seeing um, just, you know, it's realistic. Not every month am I going to be able to put $2,000 towards my car. Some months it's only going to be $1,000. It might be less some months, but I'm still working towards my goal and I'm working towards preventing myself from getting into more debt while also, you know, increasing my likelihood of making more money in the future by pursuing my bachelor's degree. So that's why I'm happy I made this until December. Um, originally, my projected time was October. We'll see um, when I'll be able to actually pay it off, but these two months I definitely paid a lot more than I thought I was going to be able to when I projected that would be done by October. So who knows, I could still be on track to pay it off in October. I'll have to kind of crunch some numbers, but if it takes till December, that's totally fine with me. If it takes a little bit longer, that's okay as long as I'm making progress. And I'm super excited to be cash flowing college and not even just like community college anymore, but like real college. So just a little side note, um, since it is going to be a little while until I do start college full time, um, look forward to some more videos from me in February and probably March. And by more, I just mean like more often. And if you don't already follow my vlog channel, definitely check that out. If you're interested, I post Disney vlogs. There's lots of TJ content over there, so check it out if that interests you. But regardless, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!